Waxahachie police arrested four teenagers from Dallas accused of stealing weapons from a gun store. Fox 4 showed you surveillance video of the smash and grab involving seven suspects. The four suspects arrested so far are all 17 years old. Alex Boyer is in Waxahachie tonight with the breaking new details in the investigation. Alex. Well, Heather, Shooter's Edge gun shop remains shut down, and you can see why. A giant hole remains in the side of the building from where a stolen pickup barreled through the side. And, you know, the gun shop owner tells me that while he's bummed, he can't open for business. He says he's grateful that at least some of those weapons are off the streets. It was a bold break-in that stunned a former Waxahachie police chief turned gun shop owner. I don't know their motivation for it. I don't know what drove them to, uh, to commit the offense and, and also to commit the offense in the fashion that they did. Seven men used a stolen pickup truck to barrel through Shooter's Edge gun shop on July 10th, swiping 17 weapons, some of them high-powered in under a minute. Today, three of those stolen handguns have been recovered. We've got about 14 guns that are still out there. There's a few assault rifles. The guns were found at an undisclosed location along with four of the suspects, thanks to help from the public. We did have some tips from uh, the video that got released and there were, were some people that recognized one of those individuals and from there it just it kind of broke wide open. With assistance from Dallas Police and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, Waxahachie Police arrested 19-year-old Xavier Curvin, 17-year-old Virgilio Cherry, 17-year-old Demarcus Dillard, and 17-year-old Deontay Jennings, whose mugshot wasn't available. Oh, it was good. I mean, it was good to see that, uh, that like you had said, you know, progress traction being made in the case. Detectives are releasing few details about the bust because the investigation is still very active with several suspects and weapons roaming the streets. I just would like to have them off the street because yes, current things going on, it's obviously not a good situation for those guns to be out there with uh, folks that obviously didn't go get a background check. And the suspects are each charged with engaging in organized crime. Jennings is the only one that has posted the $100,000 bail. Now, as far as the store, the owner tells me he's not sure when he'll be able to reopen. Heather, he says it all depends on when he can get this wall fixed. Sure. All right. Now, there was another burglary that was at a store in Fairfield. And if you look at the video, one of the suspects actually looks very similar to the one seen on the surveillance at the Waxahachie break-in. Our police kind of checking that out and looking at the similarities. Yeah, absolutely, Heather. They are aware of that similarity and they are looking into it. The suspect you're referring to is one who had dreadlocks and he looked very similar as to one who was seen in that uh, Fairfield robbery, which took place at an agricultural store that actually sold weapons as well. Now, according to the Waxahachie police lieutenant who I interviewed today, he says that they have turned over the surveillance video from this location here in Waxahachie that shows that man in dreadlocks. They've given that to investigators in Fairfield. They are looking at that video along with ATF to see if it does indeed match uh, the same suspect who they see in that surveillance video down there. But at this point, they don't know if that is indeed the same person. Heather? All right. They're investigating. Alex, thank you.